Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Nico Tulo and today we're gonna discuss the Striker Basics. Striker is the newest class released in Europe and NA, so in the Western servers. And I decided to reroll from Tamer to Striker. Now that my Striker is already level 57, I decided to make a, well, basic guide on how to use the class, how to use the abilities, and what you need to keep in mind. Whenever you level a new class, the amount of abilities and possibilities seem overwhelming. But today I will show you and ease your pain on how to actually level up your striker's abilities for grinding, for leveling up, not particularly for PvP yet. Because first of all you want to level up before you kill people, right? So let's look at the abilities you want to level up. You want to level up Flash Step, Fist of Through Strength, Flow, Prey Hunt, this is a possibility, I haven't taken yet, but it's not that good for grinding. Um, Crimson Fang and Bloody Fang, which is which has a huge flow tree. We want to take Flow Explosive Blow, Combo Venom Fang, and Final Blow. This is your key ability to fill up your Martial Spirit Charts, but we will come to those in a second. Then you have Wolf Thunder, which is your ultimate. You have your Knee Hammer. And uh, the Flow Rock Smash. Those two abilities are also filler abilities, but they're pretty useful and do a good amount of damage. Also, you want to level Twisted Collision plus Flow Landslide. Those two in combination do a good amount of damage, but also are mostly filler abilities, which can be really strong in PvP. Um, Roaring Tiger does not have high priority, but is nice to have, since it does... Um, regen your health. You don't even need to hit a target with this. As long as you activate this ability, you will regain 300 HP as long as it, it is on maximum rank. So when it's on rank 0, it only regenerates 50 HP. On max rank, 300. Then, Wolf's Fang is one of your key grinding abilities, which is basically the Hadouken of, of BDO. And you want to level up Rage Hammer. Rage Hammer and Wolf's Fang in combination are really strong abilities for grinding mobs that can be knocked down. Um, and of course the passives are always nice to have. You always want to level those up because they're, those are special to your class, especially the DP one. Um, but to keep in mind that again, Wolf's Fang, Rage Hammer, Twisted Collision, Flow Landslide, Knee Hammer, Rock Smash, Crimson Fang, and Explosive Blow. Those are the most important abilities you want to level up. Same, same with Prey Hunt. All of these abilities are key to your grinding and can be used at most times. Now that we've gone over the basic overview of the abilities, I will go over every single ability I just mentioned in particular and we will start with the, the, the buff which is called Martial Spirit. There's a little trick to this. So this ability um, increases your movement speed up on use by 50% and whenever you use Flash Step it increases this by, by 30% which is the Flash Step buff and whenever you use this in combination with Martial Spirit you, your movement speed is further increased by 50% I'm pretty sure and there's a trick to using this ability without using any resources without um, consuming 50 energy or 50 WP every 3 seconds so what you want to do is, you press tab, and while while, pre while while your character is swapping weapons, you want to press 1, which is my martial spirit. Now this time it didn't work. You need to be a little patient, but now it worked. Here you go. As you can see, I have it enabled now. So whenever I play the game normally, you can see whenever I do flash, flash fist, or whatever this is called, you gain 50% movement speed, and you don't consume any WP anymore. This will probably fixed, uh, be fixed in future patches, but for now, this is a key tip I can give you, which will help you move around a lot faster. So keep this in mind, and practice it so you can do it whenever you die, or whenever you swap channels. You always want to have this one up, because it just makes you so much more mobile and so much more fast. And you can chase enemies down, you can grind faster, and it's just an overall really important buff you want to have. Next up is the Crouching Wolf. Crouching Wolf is one of your key abilities as well. This one does not only do, well, a low amount of damage, even though it has a flow, which increases its damage. 
but it has the biggest buff your entire class has to offer. So first of all, if you use this ability without any shards, you will gain an attack speed buff, which is 10% for 10 seconds, which is pretty nice to have. You could use this before you start up your um, combos, so you can combo faster. But if your martial spirit shards are full, so you have 30 shards of these, and whenever you use it afterwards, basically every single one of your abilities is empowered for 30 seconds. I don't have the ability count or how like the multiplier uh, on paper right now, but it does increase your damage by a huge amount. And now you might ask, how do I actually increase my martial spirit shards? How do I how do I gain them the fastest? How do I maintain them? Now we talked about this ability which is called Crimson Fang and in combination to that, Explosive Law. This ability will grant you all those 10 shards most of the time. If you hit everything on a mob group, for example, you will probably gain around 10 shards. And that's how it looks. So you basically use all of these abilities at once. You basically just want to press Shift right click and then keep your left your, your 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 left finger your your left mouse button pressed down this will get this will grant you almost 10 shards so if you use this three times which will take you at most 10 seconds you can have this whole shard meter full already and whenever that that is a that is full you wanna you want to press crouching wolf as soon as possible because this this will increase your damage by a huge amount insane amount now let's take a look at knee hammer and its flow rock smash these two abilities are basically filler abilities as you can see the rock the knee hammer gives you forward momentum therefore you actually gain that 50% movement speed bonus as well keep that in mind whenever you fight in PvP and the uh, rock smash is huge amounts of damage knee hammer in itself will grant you a couple of martial spirit shards um, but not as many as the Crimson Fang does. The Crimson Fang is by far the best way to keep your shards up. Uh, Rock Smash, on the other hand, is a really nice filler damage ability, which does do a good amount of damage and is a down, down attack and a super armor at the same time, which is awesome. So you want to use this whenever you can, basically, with one exception. Whenever your Martial Spirit shards are, well, at 30, and you use your um, knee hammer and rock smash, you will consume 10 shards to um, actually increase the damage of rock smash. Most of the time you don't want to do this because you want to have your crouching wolf buff up at any time, basically. So you don't want to spend any shards on rock smash, is what I'm trying to say. So whenever you have full shards, just press this button or press space in between your abilities. Next up, let's take a look at Twisted Collision. Twisted Collision is a really high damage ability in combination with Lao uh, Flow Landslide. But it's pretty much a filler ability because the uh, AoE is pretty pretty small. And overall the damage is mediocre in comparison to Rage Hammer or Wolf Fang. And that's what it looks like. So what you want to do is you press Q and then you just leave your left mouse button on the... On, on the well, pressed again. And that's how it will look and it, this is a good amount of damage not as high as I said as your main abilities but it's reasonable and you can use this whenever you can basically so now that we went over the basically fill ability let's go over the main abilities you have and of course roaring tiger roaring tiger is not a really high damage ability it does do some reasonable amounts of damage though so you can use this whenever you 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 want to gain some health because that's the key to this ability if you, when you max this out, you will actually gain 300 HP on use. And keep in mind this is on use and not on hit. So you can use this actually without any mobs around, you will actually gain 300 health. And as I said, the damage is actually pretty, pretty good for an ability that regenerates your health. Now for the main show. Rage Hammer. Let's go over this first. Rage Hammer is a... It's a, an AOE ability that looks like this. Basically AOEs everything around you. And if the mobs are, well, downable, you can actually um, knock down your mobs with this ability. All the mobs around you are knocked down, which is awesome 
for follow-up abilities. And this ability in itself also does, a, does do a good amount of damage already. Keep in mind this does not knock down versus players or mobs that are not able, well, mobs that can't beat CC, right? And in combination with Wolf Fang, this ability becomes really powerful because Wolf Fang is a down attack. The only downside to this is that you have to charge it up a long time, as you can see. You're Hadouken, right? But when you um, float your mobs and knock them down, and you follow that up with this ability, most mob groups will melt in a second. Also, keep in mind, whenever you have your crouching wolf buff up, this wolf sang ability probably gets the biggest buff out of all of them. It even changes its color, and I will show you that right now. Now that we have gone over the basic abilities and the overview, let's take a look at our Martial Shard buff and our ultimate. But before we do that, I want to apologize to you. Um, Rage Hammer, which is this ability right here, does uh, does knock down in in PvP. That was my bad. I was I was thinking it just it only bounds, but it does actually knock down. So keep that in mind. My bad. Um, so let's let's get started. Let's let's check out the ultimate first. The ultimate is a down attack. It's well. The, first of all, the ultimate is a is down or shift F, shift F, and um, it does do decent damage without the ultimate. But I would not ever use this ability without your black spirit buff in a, well while grinding at least. Um, so with your ultimate, this this becomes a a down attack and does some really really high damage. Let's 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 see, shift F. As you can see, I can pretty much one-shot these mobs right here, only with my ultimate. But the ultimate is actually strong, and is also really strong in PvP, keep that in mind. So now, first of all, we want to go over the, well, the thing you don't want to do with the martial shard system. So, as I told you, knee hammer, right click, versus rock smash, will consume 10 of your shards. You don't want to do that, even though it does increase the damage of it, most of the time you don't want to do that. Let's, let's get it back with the uh, Crimson Fang. Almost. Here it is. As I said, Crimson Fang sometimes is probably around 9 shards that, that it gives you, so sometimes it won't give you the full amount. So now that we are back at the full shard, let's let's see how it looks like when we when we pull that off. So first of all, Wolf's Fang without that. Looks blue. It's a, it's a blue Hadouken, right? Nothing special about it. Let's do it one more time, because the first time was pretty poor. And does... Decent damage. It's not bad. It's not good either though. Let's try that with our Crouching wolf buff, which is num2 for me So now we have a 30 second buff which increases our abilities damage by an insane amount. Look at this All of them are dead and it looks different so the blue f the blue wolf fang actually transforms into a red one Let's see it again As you can see it pr almost looks like a cannon of a of a berserker this not only gives you um, more damage on your wolf tank, this does, you, does give you damage on pretty much all the abilities. So, how do you get back the martial shards the quickest? As I said, with the Crimson Fang. So, shift, right click, and then left click. You just you basically want to spam this until you have it back. You can also use Knee Hammer. Okay, I failed that one. But we already have 20 shards one more time, probably. There we go. And we have 30 shards again. We can already use the buff again. If you use this frequently, you can actually have the 30 second buff up at all times. It does it does feel really uh, boring though, and you don't want to you know use the same ability over and over and over again because it just doesn't feel right. But you possibly you could have the buff up at any time while you grind. And um, I think I want to show you guys a little t a little trick for I guess it's a utility thing. So. Most classes, when you jump down from, I guess, something like this, it kind of feels awkward, right? So you, you want to jump down and you, you place there. If it's a little too high, you actually can't move for a second. You get, like, tumbled or something. I don't think that was English, but with this class, while you jump down, you can press left click and you will land right on the ground without any, well, being, being stunned or anything like that. It feels very fluid. You can try it yourself. Whenever there's something a little higher and you want to jump down, just press left, left click and you'll be on the ground in a second. Okay guys, that's it for this guide. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I could help you out for 
the very beginning and the basic ability skill tree. Um, I will go over f further into into uh, the ability tree and gearing and leveling, where to level, what is the best grind spot for a striker, uh, how is the PvP, um, what, what do you want to use for the PvP, which abilities are good for CCing targets and so on and so forth. So if, if I get enough positive feedback on this one, I'll probably keep on the Striker series because Striker is my new main and I want to, well, teach you guys on, on how to play the Striker properly. Of course, I'm learning myself, so there might have be it might have been some mistakes in this guide. If so, I will correct them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and uh, make sure to check out my Twitch channel where I stream four to five times a week. Uh, well, now a Striker stream only. Um, I hope you see you guys around and again thank you for thank you for staying with me for this long and I hope you enjoyed this day. Peace.